Alan Krell was a force-sensitive male who lived during the final years of the Galactic Republic. He ascended to the rank of Master in the Jedi Order by the time of the Clone Wars. As the Jedi were called into service by the Galactic Republic, Krell joined the war as a general in the newly formed Grand Army of the Republic. Despite high casualties of clone troopers under his command, Krell achieved many victories. In 20 BBY, Krell along with Jedi Generals Obi-Wan Kenobi, Saucy Tin, and Anakin Skywalker were sent by the Jedi Council retake Umbara back from its Confederate line Umbaran militia. Krell during this provided an airstrike to Anakin Skywalker's forces so that he could beat up with him and tell him that he was being recalled to Coruscant at the request of the Supreme Chancellor, while Krell stay and be given command of the 501st Legion. Krell then led the 501st to the outskirts of the capital. He, against Captain Rex's concerns, decided to attack the city by going along the main road instead of flanking the capital. However, Rex and his troopers were forced to retreat away from the capital. Krell and his forces then held their ground against the militia and their Umbaran starfighters. Krell was then contacted by Kenobi who then told him that an airbase was resupplying the capital. Krell and the 501st were tasked with taking the airbase. As the 501st approached the outskirts of the airbase, Krell sent Rex and the battalion through a ravine to take the airfield. Despite Rex's and his troopers' objections, they went into the ravine. However, they came under heavy attack by the militia's assault tanks and heavy cannons. Krell refused to let Rex and the battalion retreat or to send them reinforcements. After the clones took the airbase, Despite heavy casualties, Krell objected to allowing the clones to use stolen enemy Umbaran ships to attack a separatist supply ship. Instead, he ordered the troopers to march directly into range of enemy missile fire. Rather than face certain death by following orders, several troopers secretly used the stolen ships anyway and successfully destroyed the supply ships, supporting Obi-Wan Kenobi's attack on the Umbaran capital. Krell still had the soldiers who disobeyed orders locked away. He later ordered Jesse and Fives' execution. The troopers refused to go through with the execution. Krell then told the clones that enemy soldiers had stolen Republic weapons and armor and ordered them into battle. During the fight, the clones discovered that Krell had lied and had ordered the 212th and 501st to attack each other. Rex realized that Krell had intentionally orchestrated the deaths of countless clone troopers and organized the clones to arrest Krell. Krell dropped his Jedi facade and initially escaped arrest, killing many clones in the process and fleeing into the Umbaran forest. Rex and his men pursued and eventually caught up with him. Many of the clones attacking Krell were slain. However, Tup eventually tricked him into being captured and then managed to stun and arrest Krell, putting him in a holding cell in the airbase. After Krell admitted to his treachery and with the enemy advancing towards the airbase, Rex decided to execute Krell before he could be freed by the approaching Barnes. While waiting for Rex to shoot him, Krell expressed his motivations to join the Sith and become Count Dooku's apprentice. He also played mind games of Rex, resulting in Rex's steady hand becoming shaky as Rex questioned his decision. However, Dogma seized Fives' blaster and shot Krell dead before Rex could make a decision. Dogma insisted that he had to shoot Krell because he betrayed them. Afterwards, Dogma himself was taken to Republic custody for killing an officer, but as he was led away, Rex gave him a reassuring nod to let him know that he did the right thing. This isn't the last that we hear upon Krell. We hear more about him briefly in the book Dark Disciple, saying that eventually the Jedi became aware of Krell's deception. After Quinlan Vos's fall to the dark side of the Force while on a mission to assassinate Dooku, most of the Council supported the idea of executing Vos with Mace Windu citing that Voss was a Jedi Master with unique skills and that even Krell's deception did less damage. But ultimately, I want to know what you think upon Krell in the comments down below, and if you want to see more Star Wars related content, then subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.